Hi, this is Cass from Mozzy Cass Plays, and welcome to season two, part, I don't know, like a million or something of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. So I was really, really hoping that when they patched it, that toddlers would clean their plates. But unfortunately, I don't know if it's just because her attention was really low, but Phoebe still hasn't finished her food. I tried giving her actual food instead of like food from her inventory. And it just doesn't seem to have worked out, which is a bit annoying. But what are you going to do? Now, where am I going to put that? Yeah, he can go there. He kind of fits there. So I might have her join in play with dolls. Hopefully that'll get her some attention. And little Oliver is home and very, very tired. I might have him go straight to bed. And then when he wakes up, he can do his homework. What have you got going on here? Well, he had a bummer of a school day and he's tired. He is, however, a B student. So I do need to get him a skill to level four and get him to do his homework. Now, he's a social butterfly. I'm just trying to figure out what would be best for him. He does have social at level two. Can he increase his social by... Um, actually, I'll get Hannah to do that. Can he increase his social by talking to this thing? Because if he can, I don't call it names. Why do I always do that? I just randomly click and then I'm like, no, I don't like it. All right. Uh, Hannah, can you empty the trash on this thing? I haven't rehired our maid um, just because I'm kind of a bit, I'll just replace it. It's honestly is just easier sometimes. They're so cheap to just get a new one because that's the kind of, you know, highly disposable consumerist society we live in you know with the thing come babble to this becula make, will make you feel better becula has got a lot of toddlers through dark times all right phoebe's level to communication now she has the choice of hitting and hugging the bear as well as just babbling i'll just have her get into that now he's Oh, hang on, I told you to go to bed before you. So weird. All right, go to bed first. Oh, are you sick, buddy? Do I have any medicine? Usually I have some medicine just sort of kicking around. Maybe it's in Hannah's inventory. Let's have a look. I do. All right, we'll pop that in there and he can drink that when he wakes up if he needs it. And do his homework. Basically, we're waiting for Hannah to go into labor. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, and obviously, leveling up our toddler in the meantime. I find it really hard when it's snowy like this to spot the ones that need evolving. And I'm sure you guys, oh, here we go. There's a bunch of here. You guys will be like, it's the one that you just scrolled past. But it's... Quite often I find I spot so many things when I'm editing that I just completely missed when I was uh, actually playing the game. It's actually a little bit embarrassing. Oh my god, Phoebe can now talk. That was really fast. That's awesome. And are you hungry? Yeah, you kind of are. Her attention's up a little bit. I feel like, no, we're not sleeping in the tent. Honestly, these kids and their tent sleeping desire i'm just gonna have her eat the stuff in her inventory again wait for her to explode veggies and we'll pop her into bed her attention's gone up a bit i might have to have hannah be a bit hands-on with her once she wakes up again and she can eat some plasma fruit just because i do expect she's going to go into labor really really soon and all everything i have just set for the toddler and the kid it's all going to, like, go away. It's going to be really annoying. All right, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. And when one of the kids wakes up or Hannah goes into labor, I will get back to you. So one thing they've apparently changed in the current patch, like the most recent patch, there's a few things that have changed which should affect the gameplay that I see a lot. One is meant to be the toddler's eating. I don't know if that works yet. I haven't successfully tested it. One is apparently you can invite vampires over like during the day or night now. Like it says that vampires will be more available, I think was the phrase. So I'm trying to just invite Jaden over. What I wanted to see was if I could participate in vampire training with one of the other vamps in the family while 
Hannah's pregnant because I tried to test that last time and then I think it was Lily kind of disappeared um, and she left the lot and I never got to really test it. I just chose Jaden because she was pretty much top of the list. Jaden was one of Hannah's older sisters and I'm a big fan. She's one of my favourites oh. from the original generation. Oh. So let's see if I can offer her training because obviously Hannah's been played, whereas Jaden hasn't. This is what I'm hoping will check this off. And I also want to buy... See? See? Did it! Defeat three vampires in combat. Well, I can't do that when I'm pregnant. So, yeah. We didn't actually seem to do the training. We're just... Oh, here we go. <laughs> She's gone into labor. I mean, cool. Look at you, offering vampire training to your sister while in labor. I mean... Okay, well, Jaden, can you look after the kids for me while I... Yeah, that'd be cool, thanks. <laughs> uh, when there's... What? I've not seen that before. Is that a university interaction? That's really cute. Let's go have the baby at the hospital. Uh, actually, no, I didn't want to have anyone join. I'll invite Lilith. It's been a while. Why not? So, fingers crossed for twins, preferably not triplets. I just, I, I'm not optimistic. I reckon it's probably not going to be twins or triplets. I think it's going to be another single kid because that seems to be what we have. But we'll see how we go. Hey, Lilith. I bet you she disappears straight away. Are you going to hang around? Oh, my God, it's Lilith. I love her. Oh, Lilith, why are you crying? Oh, and now she's gone. Okay. On the bright side, maybe I can tick off this three vampires in combat thing, like, straight away. Are you... Do you work here? Does anyone work here? Do you work here? Is it you? Uh, no, Hannah, come back here, darling. Uh, check in at the front desk. Come on. Come on. There we go. Pushing in in front of everybody since 2019. Because that's when I started this challenge. All right. Come on, I want to see the baby. Let's make it happen. All right, we don't need no doctor. We got Nalani. I mean, she's at least, you know, not running off and playing in the fountain like she's done to us before. At least I just assume. I mean, it makes sense. All right, let's go. Push that baby out. It's a girl! All right, we are up to Q. Now, I was going to call this baby Quinn, Quinn, regardless of whether it was a boy or a girl. It's Quinn Corby. I'm not sure if for the next matriarch I'll be able to do A to Z because I found it really hard to come up with names for the, like, some of the more unusual letters, like your Qs and your Zs and your Xs and stuff. Like, if I do get to Z with Hannah, I'm like, how will I do it again with the next matriarch? Anyway, all right, let's go home. Bam, not even bothering to hang around. Let's get home and ideally I'd like to fight some people before I get pregnant. That's a perfectly normal sentence, right? I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my gosh, I've come home and it's the middle of a blizzard. Awesome. All right, let's come up here and super efficiently care for this baby. Uh, all right, and then I'm just going to queue up stuff for the other two because obviously they'll have forgotten everything that I told them to do, which is very annoying. I might actually, I was having him work on his social. How's it going along? Because I feel like social is actually a really hard one to kind of level in a challenge like this. Yeah, I've not even really moved the dial. I might have him... I hear chess is fun. Maybe he could play some chess and work on his mental skill. That'd be great. Uh, all right. And you, what do you need? Food. All right. Let's test this update to the toddler's eating thing. It actually specifically said in the patch notes that it was this update, this specific change would make the 100 baby challenge easier. So, all right, EA, I'm testing you. Of course, this baby's... Oh, no, she's hangry. You think that wouldn't stop her from eating. All right. Is she going to put it straight back up again? Oh, she's going to go talk to her mama. As long as she eats, frankly, I don't care. All right, Oliver, keep working on your chess. Good work, buddy. Come on. Do, 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 do. Where are you going? 
I don't know what's happening. Oh, Jaden's still here. That's unexpected. Hey, Jaden, let's fight. <laughs> Hang on. It's a friendly interaction. I remember you gotta get friendly, then you go more, more, more until we get to like V, which is a long way. There we go. I'm gonna fight you in my hospital gown. It's gonna be great. Oh my god, where has the food gone? She's not gonna eat it, is she? They lied to me. EA lied to me. She's gonna put a full plate up there. I was so optimistic. Can you just eat the food, honey? While your mum beats up her older sister. <laughs> yeah, you got beaten up by somebody in a maternity gown. Let's do it again. Again, again. Uh, didn't help my conflict resolution. V. Oh my god. This takes forever. Hold still. No, I keep clicking freelancer. It's because the wheel changed when they introduced freelancing. And I was so used to friendly just sitting right at the top. There we go. Let's do it again. Ooh, what? what are you getting skill from? Frankly, I think eating is a skill for toddlers in the 100 Baby Challenge, so. All right, are we doing it again? And then again, and then hopefully we'll be done. Lilith actually did the same thing. She just did three in a row, I think with Vlad, um, and ticked off that level of aspiration straight away, which is cool. And I really, after that, I should spend her aspiration points. I really want to get... Um, the tree thing. Money tree. Not that we super need it, honestly. What else can I buy? Great kisser. Increasing charisma with every kiss. That sounds awesome. Let's do that. She kisses all the time. Man. This thing. Where will I plant it? I'm not going to be able to plant it right now, am I? Because it's too cold. I wonder if I could put it here on the in like a pot or something. I reckon I probably could. Let's do that. I'm here because I want a plant of, oh look, I can buy a bike now. Oh, I can't buy a bike because I don't have a university, but they've put all of the vehicles in one category. That's good. Even though it misled me with its picture of a bike. Thanks, Sims team. All right, can I, I don't even know if it'll let me plant it in the planter box, honestly. It probably won't. Oh, there's a light there. There we go. I will light, dramatically light my money tree. Cause it's all about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, money, money. Did I get my three battles? No. Jaden! Fight me! Let me beat you again! Jaden's like, seriously. Okay, you win. I get it. You're better than me. Shut up. I get it. Fair. Alright, did she finish her food? No. No. No, she didn't. Come here. I want you to finish it. And then you're going to go potty again, and then I'm going to figure out what else you're going to do. <sighs> I was so hopeful when I saw that in the patch notes. I don't know why I actually thought it would have worked. Anyway, it's fine. Let's come over here and play dolls. Can we fight again? How about now? How about now? Oh, well, can't, hang on. We could do this. This is still possible. We're going to add to a group. And then we're going to go down here as a group. And then we're going to fight. It's just got to have a bit more space. I mean, battling for, you know, like, awesome whatever. I just want to get this done so we can get pregnant again. Like, come on. Empiric Spa. All right. School for Oliver starts in an hour. Oh, my God. Oliver, where are you up to? Mental level three. <sighs> All right. Well, he's not going to get to four, and it's a Friday, so he's not going to age up to be a teen until next week, which is super annoying. But, I mean, I guess at least we have loads of space in the house at the moment, so it's not super the end of the world. Like, she can still get pregnant and stuff. Hopefully we'll win this fight, get to the next level of aspiration, and then... Um, we can invite someone over, like a fella. All right. Sorry, Jaden. We're still friends. How about I compliment your outfit? It's great. And oh, these are I've just updated Slice of Life. There's a whole bunch of new stuff in here that I haven't used. All right, we're good friends. She's forgiven me for beating her up. I change into this 
super smoking hot outfit. You need to go to school, young man. Come on. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Come on. Right. Have a good day, Oliver. Be good. Study hard. No, no. We don't run inside. We go to school. Go in a blizzard. It's fine. You're fine. Okay. And study hard. Uh, where are you going? No, we're running inside. That is correct. Okay, so she needs to become a Grandmaster Vampire, survive for additional 20 days. That's the bit that doesn't work. It actually, every time you leave the lot, the counter resets. So yeah, I won't do that. And read the Ultimate Vampire Tome, which we've read a ton of times. But, you know, so, that's fine. So we're going to come over here, hire a massage therapist. I'm going to get the fertility massage before I invite the man over this time, just because... It's a bit weird, let's be real. It's a bit awkward. Plus there's a baby up here that needs some attention. Uh, let's fly here as a bat. Look after the bebe. What do you need? Not really anything at the moment. That's great. You keep working on your imagination. And then we'll maybe get stuck into thinking so i'm gonna queue up a few of these i'm sure at some point she'll tell me that it's not acceptable so we're gonna feed Van the baby i almost said vanessa because she walked in look at her that is so vanessa's hair all right and then ask for a fertility massage from alicia come on uh, never accept help during the spelling bee because you never trust the hyper competitive smart kids. <laughs> I mean, fair. Come on, let's do it. Who are we going to invite over? This is the next question. So, invite to hang a current lot. So, we've got we've had babies with this whole row, we've had babies with these two, not with Marlon. I think Marlon's next. Uh, and we've had babies with these two, not Skylar, because he's the one that stood us up, and not Josh, um, just because he's got black hair. Although I might. Here's where it gets tricky, right? Because we want, we know we're coming up to the next matriarch soon. When she gets her vampire level to grandmaster vampire, she's going to be no longer the matriarch. And my rule for the vampire variant the vampire variant i'm playing and the rule i used with hannah was that the successor is the youngest female who was born a vampire so it's actually possible given our bad luck at having vampire children with hannah that the matriarch might not be the youngest daughter even they might be like a teen and have like a slew of younger siblings at the point where she gets to Grandmaster Vampire. I don't really know. So as much as I keep saying I don't want to have another blackhead matriarch, just because we've had two in a row and I kind of, the kids get a bit samey after a while. I also feel like with Hannah, we've had a lot of other kids. Like if you look at her, uh, where is it? Her family tree. Like, sure, there's a lot of black-haired kids in here, like, probably 50%. But we've got, you know, a couple of blondes in there. We've got, I think, five redheads now, because I do tend to glom onto the red-headed daddies. We don't obviously don't know what colour hair Queen is going to have. So, not so many brown-haired kids, actually. I think he's got, Josiah's got brown hair. Is he the only one? She's got that brownie grey coloured hair. We need some brown hair dads. Maybe I could edit Josh and give him brown hair. <laughs> Leave everything else the same and just change his hair color. I mean, that's fine, right? See, Jaden, good timing. All right, you can also go if you like. I mean, I don't want to be rude. Like, I don't want to fire her. I'll just ask her to leave. Marlon's going to be right over. He's a politician. He's a little bit protective of his privacy because he doesn't want everyone to know he's cheating on his wife because he's married. They're all married. All of the lads are married. I mean, all right. Have we got the buff? Fertility boost. The blood is boiling from vitality and procreative energy. I didn't even know that was a word. All right. No, where are you going? 
Is it still a snowstorm out there? No, but it is sunny, so we're not going to woohoo in the tent. Let's try for a baby in... Let's beguile him first, just to, like, make sure he's in the mood. Phoebe's level 3 skill. She's also getting quite cranky, so I'm going to send her to bed. Hey, Marlin. How you going? And we'll... I want to try for baby. Are they slice of life or are they the new patch? I honestly don't know. Let's just try for a baby. <laughs> Let's just do that. That's fine. Uh, Reed is asking me to make a donation. I mean, sure, why not? And then I'm going to go woohoo this man. The donation offsets the um, morally dubious thing that she's doing right now with this married man. All right, Marlon. Let's make a baby. I mean, let's have fun, sweetie. No, no. Oh, yes, I'm on I'm on birth control. It's fine. It's all right. Ooh, fireworks. She's enjoying herself. That's good. So the way I justify this, this I mean, it's bad, right? Because she's either lying to them about the fact she's trying to get pregnant or, like, just trying to get them so caught up in the heat of the moment that they don't think about it. Or she's lying about the fact she's on birth control. So that all of that is bad. But she would justify it to herself as being the fact that she's not asking anything from the dads afterwards. She's not asking for child support. And there are mods that you can get. That, in fact, I think MC Command Center or Slice of Life, one of the two of those actually has a child support function in it. Uh, sweetie, can I get you to take a pregnancy test? That'd be great. Get off your phone. So... She's not asking for child support. She's not asking for them to be in the kid's life. In fact, she'd kind of prefer they weren't because then they're going to die and everyone's going to be sad. She'd prefer they just went into the night. So, yeah. Woohoo! Eating for two! All right, and then we need to break up with him. So, uh, where is it? Ask to just be friends. Guess what? I'm pregnant! And he's like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear. She's like, but it's okay. Look, it's fine. Calm down. I've done this before. This is not my first time at the rodeo, so to speak. It's all fine. He's like, oh, oh God. I've made a terrible mistake. Except they are still friends, so, you know. <laughs> I really should, if I were being super cruel about it, and if I had an evil, evil matriarch, maybe I would do this. I'd actually, like, deliberately sabotage the friendships afterwards. Like, just be mean to them until our friendship is below the range for being a friend. This is meant to be a flirty painting. Oh, is it a romantic dinner? She's really not very good, is she? <laughs> I've not seen that one before. It's really funny. Where shall I put it? Uh, oh, she's going all the way downstairs. Do the men ever come up here? I don't really want a flirty painting in the teen room. I mean, I could put it in, like, oh, it doesn't really go. And I already have another flirty painting in here, and they can't get in there. I'm kind of getting to the point where I have flirty stuff everywhere. I guess I'll put this thing with the meal on the wall in the dining room. Because, you know, I like to have my aura of my house be flirty. Belle's noticed I'm good friends with Jaden. Yeah, I beat her. I laid the smack down and her good. All right, come up here and you can read the ultimate vampire tome. I think it'd be cool to get her to, what's it, um, like all of the other parts of this aspiration, like tick off that and that. Like obviously the becoming a grandmaster vampire thing is going to happen. Uh, reading the ultimate vampire tome, if I get her to do that, then maybe I'll, like, I did for Lilith cheat completion of that part of the aspiration before I moved her out. I might do the same thing. I actually wanted completing this aspiration to be the thing that moved the sim out, but it's the fact that you can't complete it without cheating is super annoying. I mean, I could just keep track of how many days it's been and then after 20 days cheat it and move her out. We'll see. We'll see. I have the flexibility to do that, I guess. Oh, look at these two. Oh, you want to sit and read with me? One word poems, an anthology. <laughs> Blue. Banana. Great.
sweet poems. Anyway, I'm actually going to end this part here. So if you have enjoyed, like and subscribe, you know the drill, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.